I'd like to show you how to do video analysis using Logger Pro software. Logger Pro is open as you see here. The first thing we're going to do is actually insert a movie that we have made to analyze. So we'll go to insert and we'll click on movie. Then we'll go ahead and find the movie we're going to analyze. I put mine on the desktop here. And once I open it, you can see that the movie has appeared into Logger Pro. I'm going to click on this button down here at the bottom. It has three dots. This will turn on the video analysis features available here. When I play the video, you can go ahead and you can see it run. You can see I'm holding it for the cart for a while, and then we let it go. The first thing I want to do is I want to find out where I want to start my analysis. So I'm going to use these frame forward buttons and frame backward buttons to actually locate the spot where I want to begin the analysis. So for me, I'm going to pick this spot right here because my fingers have just lifted off. And now this is where I'm going to consider like my starting position of this cart. So I want to go ahead now and define some axes. If I go over here to the menu of buttons, I'm going to click on this one, the third from the top that says set origin. And I've got a little piece of tape on this cart that I'm going to click right here and my coordinate axes appear. Uh, because we're traveling down a ramp, however, I'm going to actually click on this yellow dot and drag to rotate my axes so that it's actually parallel to the ramp. So this is what I'm going to actually have for my coordinate system. So positive X will be down the ramp. The second button from the bottom over here says show origin. I'm going to turn that off so that the yellow crosshair axes do not get in my way while I'm doing the analysis. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this red dot up at the top that says add point. And then I'm going to click on this piece of tape. And what you'll see very little is you'll see that that frame is advanced. And I'm going to click on the tape again and I'm going to keep clicking on that spot. And every time I click on the spot, the frame advances one frame. And it's important. I'm kind of going a little quickly here. You'll take a little bit more time because your data will need to be much cleaner than what I'm getting. I'm getting a little messy here just for the sake of this tutorial. But let me just go ahead and get a few more points so that we can get a sense of what I'm looking for here. So you'll notice that the frame is advancing with each click and it's kind of nice not to have to worry about advancing it on your own. This is enough for now. You'll go ahead and actually advance all the way down the ramp so that we can get a sense of your data. Um, if I go ahead to page up at the top and then click on auto arrange, you'll see that this is the data that has appeared at first. But if you look at the X and Y labels, there are no units because everything we've done so far has been measured in pixels. We have to tell the computer exactly where we want uh, a pixel to be in terms of its length. So there's a yellow ruler up here. I'm going to hit set scale. And when I click on that, I'm going to click and drag on this meter stick that I have in the frame. And we will tell the computer when I let go that that distance is equal to one meter. So I'll hit OK. And now we actually have units on our axis for position. The last thing we want to do is actually we realize, you know, our starting time was not zero seconds. If I click on this examine button up at the top and then click on my first data point, we see that that occurred at a time of 1.084 seconds. That's really what I want to call zero seconds. Now, luckily, Logger Pro has this feature underneath the picture on the movie where it says sync movie to graph. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say, you know, I want my graph time to be zero seconds when my movie time is that 1.084 seconds. And when I hit OK, what you'll see is now the time is shifted so that this actually is my zero second time. So I've now got it at zero meters at zero seconds. This is what we need. And now we can go ahead and analyze the data as we would in Logger Pro. But hopefully this gives you enough information as how to take video and how to use that video to actually come up with data to analyze.